Today, in Alaska's fishing paradise, Captains John Mills and Andy Schultz are on the hunt for big, beautiful salmon. Let's see how their guests from the palm tree lined shores of Southern California adapt to the rugged beauty of Alaska. Wow, outstanding. That's what you come to Alaska for. Woo! <laughs> big king. Deep in remote southeast Alaska, there lies a fishing paradise like no other. Alaska's fishing paradise. Captain Andy Schultz and his ship, the Stella May, worked together like a well-oiled machine. Well, after a good morning herring fishing, danger point was a little rough, but we stuck it out. We got a full bucket of bait. All right, crank him up, guys. Let's downrigger for a while. We got the doctor, Russ. He's a great guy. He's a dentist, and he's a very analytical, great guy. Got him. Nice coho to start the day. We had Ed and Janine, cutest couple ever. Ed was all over Janine the whole time. I had to tell him to quit kissing her and to get on his rod. That's awesome. <laughs> Californians, I'm not holding it against them. Just kidding, guys. But uh, no, it was great to have him on board. Oh, it's a cute little one, I think. Yeah, buddy. It was a lot of fun working with Ed and Janine, too, because uh, Ed was so supportive for Janine. He wanted her to catch every fish, wanted her to bring every fish in. He really brought her up here for the experience, and that was really cool to Janine, see. come on back over here. Follow the fish. Yep, over here. Up and over. There you go. Hey, we got him. Oh. Nice fish. Nice fight. Nice fight. <laughs> Hard fought battle. One side of the boat to the other. Janine, look at that beauty. All right. Beautiful colors, <laughs> nice silver salmon. There's nothing like good conversation to get a fish to bite, right? All right. It's definitely a team sport. You think fishing is you and your rod, but it really turns into a, the group on the boat. The group dynamic is very important. If everyone's not behind everyone else, you're gonna lose fish, but these guys were all supportive and they got a lot of fish in the boat, so it was good. Boom, this is what happens, you get into a nice fish. Captain John Mills is all business. Lucky for his guests, his business is landing big fish. We're gonna head to Parker Point today uh, for uh, some king and silver fishing. And then after we uh, clean up on them there, we're gonna do some halibut fishing. You know, some skippers really are superstitious. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah. You can't say it's gotta be 12 plus one. You can't say uh, You can't say <laughs> We're going to start out with the white spoon, the king killer. All right. No bait, no flash, or no nothing. Just spoon. Just a spoon. Straight spoon. Yep. On the downer. Yep. There's a good fish. Did I just bring Got it him? Way out? There you go. Fish on. You got yours on there still? Little bitty silver. Hey, it's a silver. There's a nice bait ball right here. And this is where we've been getting them, is in these bait balls. Holy crap, look at the size of that bait ball. There's a hit. There you go, he's on. You gotta reel it, reel it. Stay with it. You 
mainly look for bait balls. You know, generally where there's where there's a lot of bait, um, there's there's going to be kings around uh, and silvers too, and it's just staying with those bait balls and keep moving through them. Hey, there you go. Fish on, fish on, fish on. There you got him. Oh, fish on this one too. Double, double, double. Oh my God, look at the size of that one. Keep them on there, guys. We've got some big ones on. Oh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Good. Up next, we've got lots of kings, but there can only be one. Alaska's Fishing Paradise is brought to you by Whalers Cove Lodge and Juno Convention and Visitors Bureau. We went up to Parker Point, started out doing some salmon fishing, and they needed three kings, and so we ended up getting into a real hot bite on the kings. Keep them on there, guys. Got a double, double kings. Play them out, play them out. I think it's a good one, but I think I'm going to hold out for a bigger one. That is a small one. Kind of keep going with him. It looked like a big one. He came out of the water. Yeah, that's a nice fat fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. That one. Wow. Yeah. Holy. Wow. <laughs> that's a good one, man. Uh, yeah. Wow. Wow. Outstanding. That's what you come to Alaska for. Woo. <laughs> big king. Yeah, good hookup. Look at that. Right in this. Right there. Perfect. Don't drop him. <laughs> what do you Beautiful mean, fish. Whoa. <laughs> Yesterday and the last few days, that's been the hot spot for the Kings. So that's why we chose Parker Point. Right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez, you see that king that just followed us up? Yeah, there are big ones in here. He did pull hard. I thought it was going to be like a 25-pounder or something. It's a pound. Go ahead, go ahead. On the plastic. What do you have on there for uh, for uh, mono? 20-pound Power Pro braid and a little Shimano Stella and a G. Loomis three-piece rod I brought up with me in my suitcase. Never travel without it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check in on Captain Andy on the Stella May. I love this weather. Super masochistic. Yeah, Russ. She's on a real fish. Very nice. Thank you. Got him. Hey. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Multiple species hookup right there. Russ came in with a nice pink salmon. Janine with a nice silver. Janine, really, she came out of her shell, too. She really wanted to learn how to do it. She wanted to learn how to catch the fish, and she got it. She was kicking Russ's butt. She was kicking Ed's butt. That lady could fish, so it was really good to have her on board. And she turned out to be a pretty good fishing, fisherman, fisherwoman, fisher person. Easy, man. Up and over the engine. Yep, keep on reeling, you're doing good. All right, now reel fast. She uses the whole boat as her playground. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> all rods, all the time. Janine's world, we're just living in it. We got another hookup while we were fighting that fish. All right, Ed, let's get, oh, let's get this fish in the boat. Got him. First, Janine boats that big king. And then Ed says, I got a fish on him. I'm like, dude, you're on the downrigger still. And he says, not anymore. And then this big silver jumps out of the water. 
Nice job, Ed. Andy is the best for someone who is basically a beginner. Uh, he's the best teacher anyone can have. The halibut got me through the gloves, Mom. Coming up, a visit to the Clinkett community of Angoon. We're going to go over uh, some different types of trolling gear. And uh, these uh, actually work for all species of salmon. These are hot spot style flashers or plastic flashers. These are used uh, typically with a longer leader, so oh, anywhere from 16 to 24 inch leader and hook set behind them and hook on a bait. This we call a popsicle hoochie. This is our probably our most favorite one for coho. And then you can use a strip below it. You know, just hang a strip on the, on the double hook set and then put it behind one of these splashers. So this is called a bug and it's got a little blue hook and it's just uh, a real simple little little hoochie, and they catch everything, from king salmon to pinks to silvers to chums, to uh, they're a deadly little deal, and they do not need bait. This is an apex, and again, that can be trolled with a, with a real small strip if you want a little bit of bait. They really work on all species of salmon. So these are artificial plastic heads. So this is a glow-in-the-dark one, so you insert the herring in here, then you hold the head in by putting a toothpick through these two holes. It's a natural plug cut, so it'll it'll rotate slowly just like the plug cut would. Fishing has been hot and heavy on the Stella May. Silver salmon. I told him I wanted to check bait. He said, no, I don't want to check bait yet. I knew it was good. Well, Ed tells me, well, we better check the bait. I haven't gotten anything going on there. You better check that bait. And I said, you know, that's, what do I know? that's what Russ said. I just listened to Russ now. That's what Russ said. We're going to let it drag a minute more. And then, boom, that rod takes off. I thought the rod was going in the water. Nice fish. All right, let's pop them out, pull the gear. Let's go halibut fishing. We got about 10 silvers, five pinks, a nice king. We're going to head down for some halibut. Well, we got into Hood Bay. Weather was a little rough, so we didn't make it as far south as we wanted. But Tom told me the bite's been pretty good. They got some nice halibut. They got some nice cod. Janine was fishing on the rear of the boat. She brought her line up to check for bait. I kind of snuck in where she was. It was like being in Vegas. Someone leaves the slot machine, and you go over and you put in a quarter, after they put in a couple hundred dollars, you hit a jackpot. That's exactly what happened. It was her fish, and I feel guilty. It's amazing, I think I picked that puppy off. Oh. What the hell did you do to yourself? Get out the official first aid kit. Once I got that infection, I don't want you to have it too. Captain Andy has an infected cut from a halibut gill raker. The closest medical attention he can get is in Angoon, the Clinkett tribal community on the next island over. The halibut got me through the gloves, Mom. So, oh, it was purple and black, and I lanced it myself a couple times, and I squeezed out a bunch of gnarly goo. No, it's all right. Yep. Well, anyways, I'm getting to the clinic right now. I'll call you when it's done and tell you how it feels. All right, here it is. Southeast Alaska Research Health Clinic. Hello. I'm good, how are you? I'm a nurse practitioner, family nurse practitioner, and I'm the clinic administrator. Would I be a non-native OB family member if I'm adopted into the Clinket tribe? <laughs> yes, you would. Oh, great. My Clinket name is Stuka. I was adopted into the tribe about four years ago. How are you? Oh, all right. oh my, Andy. Uh. Oh my goodness. These are my adopted sisters, Marlene and Maxine. What time did this happen? About six days ago. I figured it would go away with ibuprofen and soaking it in 
hydrogen peroxide. Um, it's an injury that requires kind of multiple antibiotics because it has lots of bacteria in it. Is that where you planted it? Uh -huh. There. Uh, it looks like it drained quite a bit. Yeah. Definitely, the cellulitis has improved, and um, even though it may not feel great, it looks better than it did yesterday. So I'm happy the antibiotics are working. They're gonna lance it today. Well, I think I think it's opened up nicely, and um, I think we are going to not lance it today. Oh, really? Kind of ready for the lancing. Well, we might be, but we're not doing that today. Okay. And talking to the doctor um, today, he said if it didn't look better, we'd have to send you in. So we'd have to fly you out of here. So if you get it wet, change it. Okay. Wear your gloves. Okay. Um, see you tomorrow about the same time. All right. Take care of yourself. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thanks again, Doc. I'm putting my doctor's hat on. Can you disinfect it? <laughs> no, that'll work. Got to keep people safe out here. Russ is my dentist, and he's quite a fisherman down in the Los Angeles area where we're all from. And we told him about this place, and finally he decided to join us. Ah, all right. Deep six this guy right here. All right, let's go. He knew the area very, very, very well and kept us in the fish. We pretty much limited out on everything almost every day. We just had a great time on all species. When we return, Pete finds that killer king he's been holding out for. It's a good one. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, just wondering, are you up at Parker today? Yeah, yeah, we're actually a little ways above Parker, and uh, the kings are biting good. They're nice sized ones. All right, we're on our way. Thanks for the report. There you go, there's a hit. There? there he is. We had the most epic king salmon bite here in August, which is not king salmon season at all. It's silver salmon season. Yeah, that's a big king there. Oh yeah, he's a stripping line. It's a good one. That's a dandy. That's a fat one. A lot of fun. What a day. Great yeah, king fishing, silver fishing. That cooler's about as full as I've ever seen it with salmon. Yeah, that's a good day. And we didn't even limit out on silvers. It's all big kings. Big, <laughs> I know, big suckers. Yeah. We needed to catch some kings today, and he said, well, we're going to go catch some kings. And he took us right to the kings, and we caught so many kings, we had to release a bunch. So that's how good it was. <laughs> And it's really fun to outfish Pete because, yeah. you know, he's a great fisherman and I'm, you know, I, I don't go that oh, often. Oh, you do pretty so. well yourself. <laughs> uh, we had 16 silvers, four kings, and four halibut. Good day on the water. Good day. <laughs> a great day on the water. Once per week, the catamaran ferry arrives from Juneau with a new group of guests. Those anglers at the end of their stay will have their luggage loaded on board and then boxes upon boxes of flash frozen fish. Finally, the outbound guests themselves board the ferry and depart from paradise. End of the day, we need halibut number three. Pull out all the stops. This is that Pro Cure Butt Juice Super Gel. It's super sticky, it's made from fresh bait and supercharged with powerful amino acids and bite stimulants. Janine gets the butt juice. Pull up on it. Yep. Pull up, yep. 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 Sure. Give it up. Pull up. And real guy. He's a pretty cute one. <laughs> We got two I hours till we're going back. What do you want to do? You want to keep them? I do. Keep them and go trolling? Yeah. All right, halibut number three for Janine. A baby. We're going to go back on the salmon hunt now. Look for some kings, look for some coho. 
When it pops it out, you don't have to do that. And it's funny because by day four, everyone's yelling at the one person that has a fish on everything I've been yelling at them from the beginning. You know, they get a hold of learning and try to make it their own. And yeah, that's a what's a lot of fun too, is watching these people grow and say, oh, I know what he's been saying. I know what the captain's been saying. I can say that. And then they all kind of peanut gallery heckle at each other a little bit. And that's always fun for me because I like turning people against each other. Keeps me entertained out here. Rock and roll, let's turn and burn for home. This was the reverse of the perfect storm. It was the perfect everything, weather, everything. And Andy had sunscreen on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> captain Andy was just a fabulous captain. He was so congenial, so knowledgeable about fish, but uh, equally important, he was an interesting guy. He has such an incredible background from Montana. Good, successful last day of fishing here at Whaler's Cove Lodge. These guys didn't do too bad. Got him, too bad. got him trained by day four. And uh, believe it or not, he's an incredible fan of Broadway theater and show tunes. He can sing with the best of them, and uh, you'd never guess that from a guy from Montana. Alaska's Fishing Paradise is brought to you by Whaler's Cove Lodge. Closed captioning is provided by Courier Certified Welding. Just meeting a dentist who was pretty damn cool. I didn't know there was nice dentists out there. So Russ is a great guy for sure. Come on, let me show you my tattoo.